here's the inside of the engine right here is the oil flicker that I re that I modified and put in there's one on this bolt and one on this bolt and that is the piston camshaft uh, that's where they go together right there um, this hole down here that was a a hole that I plugged up with JB Weld. That hole was a one that drained, um, drained from the camshaft or the uh, the crankshaft up here. I'm sorry, the the valves. Let's see, you know, I'm not really a motor guy. I'm just doing this to. I want to build a go kart, or I am building a go kart for my daughter. She's 11. Um, let's see. Everything looks good in here. I took it apart because, <clears throat> as you can see, this is the way it sits. And here's the oil fill. So I didn't need to plug this up. A lot of videos that I've seen, they plug this up with JB Weld or some other way and then drill another hole um, in a different spot to fill up and drain the oil well luckily I mine sits in a position where I don't need to do that but I will I the dipstick and you see the angle of this hole would not allow um, would not allow a read a proper read correct read on any oil that's in here so I was using something to check the oil and I had these rubber gloves on and they had a little bit of oil on it and the plastic that I was using slipped and went inside, so I had to open it up and, and retrieve it. Um, so yeah, I think with these two f oil flicks here, it gets plenty of lubrication up here into the, the valves. Um, I haven't opened it up from the top, but when I did open it up, it looks very, very well lubricated in there. I did run it a couple of times and I got oil coming out here, carburetor, when I shut it off.